Honest, Jay Nowak. Oh yeah. A pleasure to meet y'all at last, and welcome back to the Legacy of Supers on HJN. And so, today's topic is going to be another villain. Why not? But this time, I'm going down the road of not so well known villains out there, at least within my own knowledge. So, for today, I'm going back to DC with another Superman related villain. I've already talked about Doomsday, but now I'm going to be talking about someone else. Probably one of the best known Superman villains to exist. Brainiac. Brainiac, of course, is one of the best recognized Superman villains, especially within what's known as the Tim Burr's universe, which, of course, consisted of series and films like Batman the Animated Series, the new Batman Adventures, Static Shock, the Zeta Project, the Justice League and Justice League Unlimited, Batman Beyond, and a handful of others here and there. Of course, that entire timeline itself was its own continuity, in a way. Pretty much a big section of animated series and films. The Tim Burr's series itself was very well known for bringing us such cartoons like that. There's a huge cult following following these things. And I'll admit that I am a big part of it. Because I do love DC. Although, to be honest, I have not really grown up as much with the Tim Burr series as I used to. I've kind of been alongside the Detective Comics Extended Universe, which has been going on since 2013. But yeah, I'm kind of getting a little off track here. So you know what, let's just get back to Brainiac. Brainiac, of course, is well recognized as being part of, well, the Superman franchise as a whole. And that's because of the pretty, pretty big feats that have been done. Brainiac was responsible for allowing the planet of Krypton to die, and of course, is probably one of the smartest villains ever known, as there is in fact a lot of knowledge from many places in the universe that Brainiac was able to collect, but there's also a pretty big variety of different powers, in a way, including mind control, energy blasts, pretty good amount of strength and speed and agility, stamina, and so on and so forth. As a matter of fact, the mind control power was so awesome at one point because it actually controlled the Batman. That's right. At one point, Brainiac took control of Batman's mind, just like that. Even though Batman was supposedly mentally unbreakable, Brainiac pretty much proved us wrong right there. In that one moment in the Tim Burr's universe where Batman uncontrollably went after everyone else, that was crazy. But you know what though? The repertoire of Brainiac's feats, accomplishments, powers, and so on, they only continue to get better from here. But you know what? I guess I'm pretty much just going in to give it too much credit. So you know what, I'm pretty much just going to draw the line here at this point because, after all, I've already talked so much about some other villains, within the last week especially, like Thanos. I went on for 10 minutes straight, just by talking about Thanos. But you know what though, there's still a handful of other opportunities out there that I'll be able to talk about others. So if you want to see more, go down to my channel. Make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side. 